Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hope you're gonna have an awesome day today. Oh, first here for everybody. Can you do me a favor? Hit that like and subscribe. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead and push that bell for notifications so, so you can get to scoop my news on upcoming videos. Oh my goodness, everyone. <clears throat> this is basically like the end of the Arrowverse. Yeah, truthfully, last night was like the goodbye of the whole Arrowverse. No more of that. It's going to be a recap video of the latest episode of The Flash. Alright, we're back at Star Labs. Since we're at Star Labs, we see the rest of Team Flash trying to figure out how they can get a hold of Barry because he disappeared. But then Barry comes in on the comms and says, Guys, I'm here. I'm just heading towards the hospital. Then we get a brief flashback. Well, I thought it was a flashback, but it's actually not a flashback. This is from Season 2. This is from when Hunter Zalman was trying to destroy Earth Prime. And so the rats came after him before the rats could take him away, turn him to Black Flash, and send him to become inside the DC Legends of Tomorrow episodes. He was actually saved. Yeah, he was literally about to die, but he was saved. He's confused. He doesn't know where he's at. And he's yelling, Flash, Flash, why'd you lock me up here? Where are you at? And so we actually do see Godspeed. Now, uh, I guess you could say Godspeed said that he was about to kill Impulse. Yeah, the Flash's son at the moment, he said, did you stop me? Did you stop me from taking place of what I was going to do, destroy the Flash? And then we hear an eerie voice, a familiar one, Dawn. And Dawn laughs at both of them and says, aren't you two the peach of the pair of the bunch? And basically Dawn says that, well, you pulled a book out of mine, Zalman. And he says, I'm the fastest man alive. What are you talking about? Who are you? He says, that's funny. And Godspeed turns to the next to him and says, I'm the God of Speed. Then Savitar comes out of nowhere and says, I'm the real God of Speed. Everyone was confused at this moment, like, what exactly is going on? And then we hear an eerie voice walking down the stairs to a familiar one. He says, hello, gentlemen. I'm the one who has brought you here. And the thing is, uh, the reason why I brought you here is because all of you are dead, actually. And Hunter said, you must be the cop's dead friend, Barry Allen, such as The Flash. He says, yeah, about that, all of you are dead, man, but you're no longer dead, man, because I saved your life. And no, please, don't call me Eddie. And Don said, all right, my great ancestor, what do you have in mind? What do you have in plan? So he squeezes the crystallite. Once he squeezes the crystallite, he says that, my name is not Eddie Thawne. You could call me Cold Black Blue. So all four dead previous speeches are back for revenge. It's crazy seeing Savitar here. I don't know. You guys tell me who is the fastest speecher between the five of them, including uh, Eddie. Tell me that. All right, A New World. This is actually part four of the finale. I know it's so insane. Okay, you guys ready for this? All right, we're at the hospital, and since we're at the hospital, we see um, Barry. He's just in time before ours goes into labor. Then when he's about to explain what happened to Eddie, Eddie is the new avatar. And Eddie said that, don't worry, I didn't come here to interfere or anything like that. I just came here to congratulate you, Iris, on, well, you giving birth, your pregnancy. And he walks over to Barry. Congratulations, Barry. You're going to have a nice, well family. And you know what? The thing is that I never had a nice family, Barry. You're the one who had a nice family. Matter of fact, you took my life away. You took my family. You took what should be rightfully mine. Right now, I should literally be in your place. But no. You have lean last words. And Iris says, run, Barry, run. And they both run into Central City. Now, reminder, both of them know Central City perfectly. And so it's kind of an even match, basically. But Eddie is slightly a little more powerful. In this case, we'll call him Cobla Blue. But as soon as he was about to kill uh, Flash, uh, he got pulled over to his side by XS Nora. She said, when Grandma Seal calls you 25 years from now, you go for help. And so <clears throat> let's just say that Cobla Blue said, oh, so you have a team. Well, don't worry, because I have a team of my own. And he brings out all four evil speedsters from season one to season eight. 
Wow, it's so incredible. Okay, so right now, Barry actually says call for plan Delta activated. I was like, okay, they're like prepared for this moment. Like, it's something like this were to happen. Uh, it was surprisingly. Okay, so as usual, a Savitar tried to kill Nora by stabbing her, but no, that didn't work because Nora was facing her body. She broke the, his blade and stabbed him right in the back, and he died. Yeah, it was that simple. I guess they learned from repeated history how to defeat Savitar, and Nora did by herself. Now, Godspeed is trying to chase after and kill Cecile, but he's failing because Cecile, with her telekinetics, her powers are powerful and strong. She's actually taken on Godspeed, like one of the most powerful speeders. And then she whammies him. I mean, like, she nearly kills him, and he's like knocked out onto the floor. She's so powerful. Now, she could have killed him, but she held back a little bit. And so Thawne is actually laughing and looking at Chester saying, Look what you did with the place. You know what? The thing is about this place, I'm going to have to destroy a lot of the Flash's friends, including, well, let's just start with you. So he knocks Chester to the floor, but then Allegra blasts him right through the window. And then we see Keon pushing Hunter's army inside the tunnel. So obviously CCPD was prepared for this moment as well. And Hunter Zolman was just smiling um, at this moment. And we get to see Christian Kramer, Lieutenant Kramer. Oh my goodness, the three new detectives. Other than that, he says, you get more cops for me to kill. And then he turns around and sees Keon and Marcus. Now, I didn't know what was going to happen, but Hunter Zolman said, you can't lock up the darkness. His favorite line, I remember his favorite line. So, he's uh, running around in a circle, and obviously, I'm pretty sure I know what he's ended up doing. Now, Eddie's threatening to kill these two barista bartenders at Jitters, because both of them actually flew through the window. And then Zoom throws a huge bolt of lightning right at Keon, but she absorbs it, sucks it in, and throws it tenfold right back at Hunter Zalman himself, and that dude's knocked out right there. Yeah, I was like, okay, since he's knocked out. Then Thawne rushes over and tries to talk to Allegra. Well, give his diabolical plan, but too late. She literally, I think, probably like kills him. And he's down for the count. Like, literally, Allegra is that powerful. So we see Chester. Chester was about to die. We thought he was dead, but no. Chester, he's very strong. He's too stubborn to die. Then his own... Lightning gets zapped in front of him. Well, technically, Jay Garrett took away Cobalt Blue's powers. He says that he earned, learned that little trick from, I believe, his doppelganger from Earth-92, I believe. And, well, let's just say that Eddie's not going down without a fight. He says, please, just give me a little bit more power. And so, from all of all the other speeches that have gone down, such as Godspeed, we have... Also, Savitar, um, in Reverse Flash, not to mention... Well, the thing is that they all got sucked inside Eddie and Cobalt Blue. We saw Zoom for a brief moment, but we didn't see Zoom's power corrupt Eddie in order in any way. So, Flash comes and visits a negative speed force with the help of Keon, and he stops Eddie from absorbing all of that power because he tells Eddie... You are the new Avatar, and if you absorb all of that new power inside of you, you will die just like Thawne did. And so he's not going to fight Eddie at all. He says, I'm not going to fight you. I'm only here to talk to you, and I just want us to be on common grounds, basically. And then finally, he hears Barry out. You are the new Avatar of the Negative Speed Force, which means you get to make your own choices. You don't need to make this diamond, this crystal light, whatever you call it think for you act like for you so eddie pulls off his chest and smashes it with his foot and he listens to barry and he says that you know what as one avatar to another avatar yeah that's right the flash barry is the avatar of the speed force so he's the new speed force nora he says that we may not see the eye to eye but we do have different paths to take and our paths will lead us to different roads but understand what you're saying and so 
after that we see yeah iris she actually gave birth to little nora and future nora is actually in the other room while that actually is happening and team flash well the rest of team flash they're still reminiscing and talking about i guess having a get together we see timeless wells yeah timeless wells he returns and so he's talking to keon keon says so have you come here just to see baron iris's uh, new baby and he said yeah but i'm not only here for this i'm here for you you know what you have to do keon it's time for you to ascent because by you ascent makes the whole world even more greater you are extraordinary keon and you know that so yeah she's gonna ascend real soon and there's baby nora so cute and so iris is remembering all the time she and barry spent together back at star labs so Keon is saying goodbye to everyone because she's going to ascend. What, how she's going to ascend is that she's going to take her spiritual self and spread over because she's basically Mother Nature herself. And then we see Caitlyn. I'm glad we finally see Caitlyn. She's back. I thought that we would never see her again, but now she's here. Um, we She left off on a good note. I like that on good terms. We got to see her back. I thought she was going to leave like Keon, like Frost and... Caitlin, but no, we just got Caitlin. So about a week later, it's just a baby shower, and it's actually going pretty good. The thing is that I did not see Wally West or Kid Flash. I don't know where he's at, but Joe and Cecile, well, let's just say that they're getting married. Yeah, it took them a long time, but yeah, finally Joe uh, has his ring out. He wants to marry her. Weeks, weeks later, little Nora is living with him, and Barry ends up have an idea he wants to travel all the way across his old training grounds throw a boat lightning in the air not only just not one boat of lightning he throws three of them reason why he wants to throw three bolts of lightning is because remember this is positive and organic speed force he wants to choose three new speedsters that will help protect central city well prime earth basically yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.